Good morning, friends. I welcome all of you to the seventh episode of the program from the desk of Principal Secretary. Friends, June has been the month of festival for our department. It all started on eighth uh, June when the Honorable Chief Minister launched the academic calendar for the year twenty three twenty three twenty four. On the 12th June, the Honorable Chief Minister launched JVK 4, Jagannath Vidya Kanuka 4, uh, from the Kosur Mandal of Palnaru District. 20th June, we had Jagannath Anni Mutyalu program. On 23rd June, we are going to have the signing of agreement with Education Testing Services Princeton to, for the TOEFL exam. On 28th Wednesday, we are going to have Ammavadi program. So there has been large number of activities. Everybody is busy. I see all the DOs, MEOs, the CRTs, the HMs and the teachers, uh, they are working very hard. Perhaps uh, no any department in our state is having so many activities as we are having in this uh, month. We also issued some historical government orders in the last one month. It started with uh, as fresh as last two, three days back when we have created more DO's uh, divisions, now the deputy DO's jurisdiction has become co-terminus to the revenue divisions. We have increased from the, I think from 54 to 76, we have increased the number of positions of deputy DO and at the, at the division level. We also, we have formed a working group with the representative of Google, Microsoft, Amazon, NASCOM, Intel, to recommend to us that what all should we add in our curriculum so that the students studying in our government schools become more employable in the future technology related jobs. Big step which uh, government of Andhra Pradesh has taken, they are going to submit a report. This group is working group is going to submit a report to the department in month of July. We also issued geo for mission GR100. Our attempt, our endeavor is that we should achieve the GR100 academic year, which in simple term means that every child who is born between 1st August 2005 to 30th, 31st August 2018 should be either in the school or in the college. For doing this, the government of AP has taken historical decision the first in the country where it has been decided that if any student fails in class 10th and 12th, he has right for a readmission, which means that he will be readmitted if a child fails in class 10th or fails in class 12th, he can get readmitted in the class 10th and he will get all entitlements which a regular student gets, which means he is entitled for Vidya Kanuka, he is entitled for Gaur Mudda and his family, his mother is entitled for Amma Vadi. So that's a historical decision which the government of Andhra Pradesh has done. Friends, as all of you are starting a fresh inning, a new inning in this academic year, I thought in this episode I will talk about what should be those the five elements or the five important characteristics of a teacher. We know, we keep talking about the concept called Panchabhut or five elements of the universe which says that sky, air, earth, water, fire. Similarly, what are those five important qualities or five important components or five important ingredients of a good teacher? In my mind, those five elements are the following. The first, a good teacher is one who motivates his students to make use of all that which has been given under Jagannath Vidya Kanuka. The last academic year, I went to many schools and found that in a classroom, if there are 40 students, not everybody is carrying the bag which has been given under Jagannath Vidya Kanuka. Yes. There was in some cases the bag in some schools, the bag which was supplied last year 
was not of the best quality but this year we have taken lot of cares you must have seen the size of the bag and the quality of bag this year is much superior is better you must have observed there are three types of handles if you look at there's a black handle there's a blue one and there is a pink one for three different sizes so we have ensured that class 1 and 2 students get one size 3 4 5 gets one size and 6 to 10th get one size after giving such a good quality of of bag why any student should bring his notebooks test books his workbooks in some other bag I keep telling this that school or a college is like a religious place it's like a temple it's like a mosque it's like a church where everybody is equal irrespective of whatever is your, your economic strata is you may be the richest guy on the earth or you may be from a middle class you may be from lower middle class you may be from poor family in front of god as in front of god everybody is equal similarly in the school everybody is is equal why is it so that we have the concept called school uniform the one of the reason to have a concept called school uniform is that everybody irrespective of his economic strata wears the same dress a good teacher is one a good class teacher is one his students or her students to bring the the test books and the notebooks in the bag which has been given by the government my appeal to all my teacher colleagues is please encourage all the students to use the bag which has been given under jagannath vidya kanuka the second appeal is about stitching of encouraging students to stitch their uniform as early as possible a school will look good all the students in the uniform which is prescribed in this year as you know that this year we have a better design however if in a school half of the children are last year uh, uniform and then half of them in this year doesn't look nice as amma wadi is on anvil there is lot of uh, there is a money which will be available with the mothers please encourage mothers to get the uniform stitched as early as possible during my visit to few mandals in fact i interacted with few tailors and uh, all of them are very excited that because all of them have got assistance under jagannath chevdu program where the government gives assistance of rupees 10000 every year to every tailor in our state that the next 15 to 20 days they should give preference to the students for their uniform and all of them agreed that they also understand the priority and they will give also preference for the uniform for stitching the teacher should encourage should talk to the mothers and see that this uniform gets stitched as early as possible and the third thing in vidya kanuka is inculcating the habits of to the to, to the students to wear shoes it's extremely important as i keep telling again and again if we monitor a child for a 21 days it will become his habit it will be his habit he will start wearing the shoes and if we monitor for 90 to 100 days it becomes his lifestyle so that's a third component of vidya kanuka first as i said the bag bag which has been given by the government by the department the children should be using it second is getting the uniform stitched in time and third is about the usage of shoes so that is as far as the first big block which i believe is is very important which is a, which which should be a part of a good teacher component of a of a good teacher's personality in my mind encourage students to write in or the formative assessment test english medium friends please think about this issue for the last 3 to 3 years we have been printing our test books in bilingual is there any state in india or perhaps in the globe is there any provincial government any state government or any federal government which is giving test book to its students in two languages the answer is no the expenditure towards a test book of government of andhra pradesh is double of what is there in other states we are doing so much expenditure with a vision with a dream with a desire that one day 
our students will write their exams in English medium. The day is academic year 23-24. The children who are in class 3rd, they have been exposed to English in class 2, class 1, PP2, PP1, PP2, PP2, 3 years. The children who are in class 5th, 6th have been exposed to it in class 3rd, 4th, 5th. As a class teacher, as a subject teacher, you must take this resolution. Coming unit test, which is in month of August, every child, every student will write their exam in English medium. I particularly appeal to the teachers who teach maths, teacher who are teaching uh, EVS, teacher who are teaching in higher grade social science and physical science. Please, please prepare your students. Now we have one and a half, almost one, one, and one month, 10 days or so. And see to it that we write, they all of them write exam in English medium. I'll be very curious. In fact, I'll be asking this data from the SCRT, out of my teachers who have teaching physical science, social science, maths, EVS, their students, what percent of their students wrote their unit test one in English medium, how many of them wrote, wrote it in other than English medium. The third is usage of digital technology. We have started installing interactive flat panel in every classroom. Other day somebody called me up from Delhi and asked uh, how many schools you have put IFPs. I told him that's perhaps counting school wise maybe the culture in other states. The culture in our state is we are counting classroom wise. So we are counting how many classrooms have got interactive flat panels. As the report suggests 10 to 11,000 schools have uh, classrooms have already got the interactive flat panels. By 11th July, all 30,000 classrooms which, which were refurbished in Nadu Nadu phase one will have the interactive flat panels. By 21st uh, December, when the day when we will be distributing the taps to that eighth class students, by that date, all other classrooms of class sixth and onwards will also have interactive flat panels. Totally, we have around 63,000 classrooms in our 6,700 odd uh, high schools from uh, classes 6 to 10. So, all the 63,000 classrooms will have interactive flat panels by December 21st. And all primary schools or foundation school or, or what we call foundation school or foundation plus schools will have smart TV. Why we have given smart TV? to these primary schools or foundation plus schools friends as you must have seen in the you must have seen in the paper or you must have seen the the recent government order we have read, we have issued the government of ap has entered into an agreement with education testing services princeton usa for conduction for preparing the students from class 3rd third, third to 9th to aspire for toefl primary and TOEFL junior certification. Why these certifications are important? Why are we aspiring our students to get it, get these certification? We are asking this, we are attempting this because a good English has two, three components. I should, a good English means I should have a good writing skill. I should have a good comprehension or a listening skill. And I should have a good speaking skill. The present conventional English subject teaching perhaps covers one and a half of it. But to ensure that a child also have good listening skill and a good speaking skill, it's important that apart from our conventional subject teaching, we also equip our child through a TOEFL certification. Our attempt is that uh, apart from the regular subjects, whenever there is a unit test, there will be also a test for TOEFL, which means a listening test. In other words, we will be giving some audio clipping from the CRT and based on this audio clip, the students will write the answers. This preparing these children for writing answers or audio visual clipping is can be done through the smart TVs. We are also engaging good company to prepare a audio visual material for training our students for the TOEFL primary 
and TOEFL junior exams of a good teacher is one who is making efforts for using or internalizing the ICT tool or digital technology tools in his teaching. We are aware, I am personally, I am aware that it requires training. As we say, it's like a issue of a, of a camelback problem, which means the first few days it will look very difficult. If we are perseverant and if we are working on it, after few days, first few days difficulty, and when we'll become, we will become the master of this, of this digital technology, usage of this distant technology for teaching, and the day will come that we will not be able to live without it. It's like using mobile phone, using WhatsApp. Initially when we started it was looking difficult, but today can we live without WhatsApp? Can we live without mobile phone? Better facilitation or training to the teachers for this digital technology. We have thought of two, three strategy. Uh, one is, we must have seen in the paper also, we have identified few uh, trainers who are associate professor or the assistant professor from the engineering colleges. Uh, we trained around 300 of them last month in Vijayawada. And they are supposed to take care of, of the schools which are in the vicinity of that engineering colleges. So that's one we will be having in the in the second or third week of July training program, a one day workshop in the engineering colleges where all the teachers will be invited. There will be interaction with this assistant professor or associate professor. The second strategy is we are making those videos, self-learning videos, which will be putting in our Diksha platform, which will be putting on our SCRT platform. We can go through those videos and learn how to use the, our uh, Baiju's content, how to use smart TV, how do I use the IFP, how, to, how do I make use of all the features of IFP, also will be the self-learning videos also will be preparing. Third is towards the end of July or the first week of August, the students of these engineering colleges, the final year students of the engineering colleges who have to do a mandatory internship, they will be coming to our schools, will be spending time with us, will be having a conversation with you, they will be chatting with you about the usage of how do we use uh, ICT for better teaching and learning. So with these three strategies, we are approaching the issue of empowering or training our teachers to use of uh, technology. Friends, take this third as a resolution. This year, yes, there is a content which has been put in all the smart TVs, content which has been put in the in the hard disk of, of IFP, the Baiju's content has been put, that you will, we will use this, that uh, Baiju's content for teaching. We are also in the process of preparing lesson plan. Uh, what we are calling is a digital lesson plan or in a simpler words, the lesson plans in a PPT form. Just friends, just visualize the situation. We have 150 teaching days. Just visualize the situation that for every subject in every class, we have 150 PPTs. Day 1, 1 PPT, day 2, 1 PPT, day 3, 1 PPT. And this PPT has two parts, a generic part which can be used by every subject teacher and also a facility uh, for a teacher to put his intervention, his component because every teacher is unique, way of delivering is unique. He thinks there is something unique which he should be teaching. So we should not take away that innovation part from the teacher that uniqueness from the teacher. So there will be also a facility to add that extra also in those generic PPTs. So we are in the process of, uh, of identifying a partner who will help us in preparing those PPTs for all the subjects. Third important uh, ingredient for a good teacher is that resolution to use ICT for teaching. Second being encouraging students to write their unit exam, unit exam one in, in English medium, and third is usage of ICT, usage of IFP, usage of Baiju's content, etc. The fourth and fifth is about an internal resolution, about the internal discipline. That is, the fourth is, no matter what happens, whatever is my target for the lesson plan, as a teacher, I will achieve it. And I request my friends, please don't slip on that. I have seen the last, last year in large number of schools, first two months, everybody sticks to the schedule, comes the month August, come the month September and we start slipping. For the God's sake, 
please keep yourself motivated keep talking to yourself keep doing self evaluation the self evaluation is the best evaluation let's let not any meo let not any do let not any deputy do let not any principal secretary come let not any commissioner come and tell you look this is why you are slipping on slipping out on your lesson plan or a weekly schedule of lesson plans please wednesday if you feel that you are lagging please take additional classes see that the week the weekly schedule is intact and we don't carry backlog from one week to other week by the the fourth ingredient i am talking about please keep talking to yourself keep that schedule on the fifth is related to lesson plan whatever we have taught whether the child has understood whether the student has understood correctly or not please ensure that every week i am giving feedback back to the back to the student i give this feedback by checking his notes by checking his workbook please ensure that again i don't as a teacher i don't pile up the backlog friends in the last year wherever i went to large number of schools the those teachers they were able to stick to the lesson plan they're sticking to checking the the notebooks workbooks the the quality checking it's not merely just sticking but word by word checking taking effort to correcting it wherever they have been done we had enjoyed that moment when i saw that we had a picture i took those picture i posted it in my social media i encourage people to to like those uh, those uh, on the social media those picture etc etc wherever i found gap those cases also converted into a advisory and there has not been a single case where i have gone beyond advisory but friend please tell me can this system continue can a system where a teacher is putting an effort is putting effort to see that he is completing his lesson plan on a weekly basis he is correcting the workbook is making effort in quality checking also is given the same recognition by the system and is another teacher who is a lethargic teacher who is a lazy teacher and he is not completing his he is not doing his lesson plan on time he is not checking the uh, checking the notebook on the time he also gets the same recognition or same treatment from the system both are seen on the same terms both are seen equally is it fair is it just to this teacher who is putting effort correcting the notebooks and correcting the completing the lesson plan in time then we are not being fair to this person if we are treating the other person at par with this person friend that's called loose administration that's called loose governance and that brings not only bad name to the organization or to the system but it is like a cancer if we start ignoring if we are start quoting both of them equally guy pers a teacher who is working hard sincere and a teacher who is not sincere if i keep equating them same that's like cancer does any one of us want a beautiful public schooling system of our our state to collapse no we want so many things are happening the per capita expenditure is highest the what we are spending in our state is highest in the country is there any state which is giving so much entitlement students as our state is giving is there any state in the country or perhaps in the globe where the students in class 8th are given tabs is there any state where every classroom put an ifp is there any state where which is providing uh, subject teachers from class 3rd onwards is there any state where 160000 rooms in our 45000 schools where all 160000 schools uh, classrooms are being refurbished ro plants are being put toilets are being constructed fans are being given benches are given does any such uh, is it happening in any other state but so much is happening in infrastructure side so much is happening on a hardware side so much is happening to the students or students entitlement entitlement point on the whole story is incomplete without these two component and these two component is the delivery of lesson plan in time and checking of workbook and notebook in time and that is in your hand this 
65 to 70 thousand crore which has been spent in education sector will give return the return on investment will happen can happen if if our teachers if my teachers they do these two things and if these two things are not done this 65,000 or 70,000 crore will go waste do we want such a big money 70,000 crore to go waste and I, as I keep telling a chain is as strong as its weakest link it's not important it is insignificant if 10 to 15 percent teachers do this it's important that 100% of the teachers do it and then only we'll be able to do the justice to the 65,000 crore of taxpayers' money which has been spent. So that has been, that is my appeal to all my friends, my colleague teachers. These, uh, please look at five things which I have talked about, five ingredients of the good teacher which I have talked about, the motivating team, students to usage of JVK items, motivating students to write the exam in English medium, be the leader in usage of IFPs and smart TVs and Baiju's content, uh, complete the um, lesson plan on time, weekly, weekly self-evaluation and weekly, weekly self-evaluation for checking. So I thought in this, in the first month of the new academic year, let me share those five things. I have been regular in taking time out on weekends and going and meeting friends. My every visit has been a great learning to me in person. What I was, what my understanding of, of education department in, in the month of December when I started my evening till what it is today. There's days I can, I can feel there's a lot of learning has happened. I wish all of you a very, very happy beginning of the academic year 23-24. With this, friend, I conclude my address to all of you in the seventh episode of From the Desk of Principal Secretary. Jai Hind.